Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. Today we're gonna discuss one of the, I think the most trending topic uh, in the last couple of days, a couple of days, which is, um, I think you guessed it, which is deep seek. So uh, we're going to discuss and see how we can use that in make.com. But before I start, I want to talk a little bit about deep seek. So what is DeepSeek? So DeepSeek is a uh, just a, just like ChatGPT. So it's an AI uh, engine that responds to your uh, queries and that you can use it in your automations. You can use it in your uh, you, uh, with your AI agents. Uh, so you could say a competitor, right? A competitor to ChatGPT. And now the reason why everybody's speaking about it these days is because of how cheap and uh, how good it is. So uh, just going to this website just to see this. So this slide is very, very important. So this is the price. So USD per 1 million token. So as you can see, 1 million token costs around $26, $27 with uh, the ChatGPT01 preview, right? Uh, it costs $26. now. At the later end, you can see how much 1 million token cost with DeepSeek. So it's really very, very cheap, even cheaper than Llama. Okay. And if you see the in terms of quality, uh, it's it's right here, right? It's, it's right in the middle. So it's uh, in terms of quality, it's better than a lot of uh, other uh, models. Okay. So uh, this is what everybody's talking about this. It is very, very, very cheap, uh, and this makes uh, AI models uh, available for everyone. So for normal people that, that they don't have much money, right? You can you can you can have five dollars in your account, and it would last you months uh, <clears throat> with with DeepSeek. Okay. So uh, this is just a small overview of, about what is DeepSeek and why everybody's talking about it and uh, and why will you use it, okay? So now we're gonna see how we're gonna use DeepSeek inside of make.com. Uh, so before I dive uh, deep in, I just wanna uh, remind you that I'll leave some uh, beneficial links for you guys in the description box below so you can uh, so you can check them out uh, later on okay so i'm gonna just i'm gonna demonstrate how you can use DeepSeek inside of uh, make.com so i'm here i create a new scenario i have this wonderful node uh, so i click on it if i search for deep seek there's a community node for that for that but what i want to use is the open router okay uh, so what is open router so open router is a way for you to use every kind of uh, AI model inside of one node okay uh, so you want to make a, a chat completion and you can make a chat completion with fallback so what does that mean that means if uh, if you make a if you make a completion and the selected model doesn't work for any reasons it will have a fallback model that it, it can use uh, and it will pick the cheap the cheapest one uh, or the closest one to the one that your primary chose okay your, your primary option what i want to make is uh, create a chat completion so uh, what you need to do is go to operator.com uh, operator.ai sorry and then uh, you need to sign in and it's free to sign up uh, uh, you only need after signing up you just need to put uh, whatever amount of money inside you can put dollar five dollars just to try okay and here it lists all the models that you can access with open router and you have this uh, filters that you can uh, you can see uh, you can see the newest or the top weekly uh, and all of the information uh, regarding it okay uh, so operator.ai uh, sign up it's easy uh, put some money and then uh, inside you can get your API key in order to put it okay uh, I could I could show you how to uh, actually I might do that now 
so I'm gonna sign up in front of you guys okay alright I'm just gonna show you uh, just where you would uh, you would get your API key I think that's my main you get an email you can just verify quickly so inside now I'm logged in right here you can check out how many credits you have and here is where you would go to get your API key so you create a key you can name it make then create and there you go you copy this key okay and then you go to uh, make here you say add and then you put your API key here okay I already have one there uh, so that's uh, that sets me up so here is where you would chose you choose your model see how many models you have so this node is far more powerful than actually choosing just the uh, ChatGPT one or the cloud one or the uh, whatever other nodes you have so this has all of the models in one right uh, and you can even search with free and you have all of these free ones to use okay and you can search for DeepSeek there you go you can select DeepSeek model and then you can uh, insert your message here uh, and specify the role okay so this is how you would use DeepSeek but what I want to do is go to this AI social media system that I made a couple of videos earlier please check that out uh, and I want to use it uh, in one of these ones okay uh, so I want to make a new node open router create a chat completion I don't want it with fallback I want just a normal chat completion okay and I'm going to select deep seek deep seek here vault uh, 3 uh, enable automatic fallback no I don't want to do that I'm going to add a message and I'm going to first uh, uh, let me select assistant and just a simple message here and I'm gonna come here I'm gonna copy the prompt that I had here and put it there okay so uh, I'll just wait until this opens up okay so I had a system message with this one okay I'll copy this I'll unlink this and I will come and put this here Uh, actually I might just want to okay let me put it here for now and I'm going to make a system message and this would be the content okay same as the original one same as this one it will make a, a another one and this we are going to show so this will make the Facebook one uh, I will I will add it in the G field and of course I will pick the content okay so this would be a good way to uh, I'm gonna unlink this so I don't want to make all of them for now I'm gonna unlink this and I'm gonna put this here uh, so this will only make the chat GPT and the open router one okay I'm going to test this uh, route so I could have I will have the Facebook one and the open router one and it will be added there okay I have my perplexity set up uh, just uh, go over that video and you will know how to do that so I need just to choose where to start I'm going to pick uh, choose manually to pick where I want it to start I'm gonna pick the 
TechCrunch article and I'm going to run so it will now start it will go to chat GPT uh, it will create the, uh, the post in there let's see if it works with Operara see now it's working it's working over there and it will add it up to the field here okay let's see so now this is the Instagram this is the Facebook post good and I think at the end I think this is we put it in here so let me see did I put it in G Yeah, I put it in G. Okay, so as you see, we have this one, this post by uh, by DeepSeek. Samsung Electronics has made a major move in the robotics world by increasing its stake. And we have this post uh, by uh, with, the, with, the, with the OpenAI. And they're pretty much similar in terms of quality. Uh, so this shows how great uh, DeepSeek and actually very close to what, in, even in quality, very you, you would not be able to discern which one is which. And the cost is really very small. And to, to see, uh, I'm gonna open up an image of how much this did cost. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, uh, give me a second to open the right tab. This is the API key. All right, I think, uh, yeah, this is the, the image. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we used it today and it took this much 0 0.0001 dollars to get me one uh to get me to create one face facebook post okay uh, and this is exactly what i was saying uh, of how cheap deep seek is and how uh, now what what i can do is i can Remove all of these uh, open AI ones and replace them by open router node and choose deep seek in that. And here as well, I will just leave the image to be done by, uh, by open AI. Okay. That would reduce the cost by a lot, like more than 80% or even more. <laughs> so that will be more uh, of a good way to continue. Uh, this workflow and uh, use actually open AI models uh, uh, use actually the uh, the deep seek AI model across all of your automations and even with your AI agents with our going I'm going to do a video on uh, on creating an AI agent soon using make uh, okay so if you guys uh, like this video give it a like subscribe for more videos uh, I hope you guys enjoy it and you'll start using deep seek in your automations. Uh, see you in the next one.